in 497 BC. It was the glorious era of Greece, where people live in peace and harmony. However, the peace did not last long until the invasion of the Persian. But the people of Greece united as one to defend their land. won the battle. Within Greece, there was a small acropolis named Athens. They have sent a messenger to deliver the good news to Athens. He ran 42 kilometers back to Athens without stopping and died on the spot when he accomplished his mission. Greece got stronger and stronger with the united strength of Athens and Sparta. But everything changed when the Spartans declared war against the Athens. They were afraid that the Athens would overthrow them. So, the first stage of Peloponnesian War broke out. In the end, the Athens won against the Spartans. In 460 BC, after the Peloponnesian War, a leader emerged to enable the city to reach cultural and militaristic heights. His name was Pericles. He leads the city through a golden age. At the meantime, both Athens and Sparta came to an agreement to sign the 30 Years Peace Treaty in order to bring peace to the people. This was an era of democracy, where citizens of Athens have the right to vote and speak out their opinions. During the time, there was a man who traveled distance to different places such as Egypt, Babylon, Palestine and Syria However, confusion and miserable had condemned him, so he went to Athena for help.
Etina, Etina. I'm so confused about my situation right now. I don't know what to do. Please change me. Renew my mind, body and soul. Teach me to accept life in terms of faith in you and your will. There's many things I want to do in life. But the disease of addiction have caused me to believe that I'm different. Show me that isolation isn't the only way. Teach me and give me strength to do so. I surrender to you. Please give me the right way. I grant you the serenity to accept the things that you cannot change. Courage to change the things that you can and wisdom to know the difference. Living day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardship as the pathway to peace, this sinful world as it is, not as you would have it, but trust me, I will make all the things right. Etina, keep me in your prayers so that I can grow closer to my Saviour each day. Remember, let your smile change the world, but don't let the world change your smile. Thank you, Etina. The great philosopher, Socrates and his student, Xenophon and Plato, were having a show at the marketplace. At the meantime, Herodotus was sharing his findings about the Persian Wars at the market. Come! Come! It's about the Persian Wars! Anyone to listen? Come! Come! The Persian Wars! He shares about the causes of wars fought by the Greeks and particularly the causes of Persian invasions. Heracles called to meet up with him to thank him for his contribution. Lord Heracles, Heracles is here. Let him in. Greetings, Heracles. It's been a while since you visited. Please speak. Yes, indeed. I've been traveling along Egypt to gather information and testimonies about the Persian War. Oh yes, the Persian War. How is your investigation going on? Quite smooth actually. I'm just missing out on a few parts. I heard that you were sharing your findings in the market today. Yes, I was. You have contributed well in the city's interrupt life by doing so. All the citizens treat you like a celebrity. I guess I will have to reward you for this. Wow, that's quite generous of you. So, where are you travelling next? Maybe or maybe. I guess I will find more things there. Well, I wish you luck then. Thank you. I guess I will get going. Until then. Until then. After visiting the marketplace, Socrates has lessened with his students to discuss about the weaknesses of democracy held in Athens.
Unfortunately, he was spotted by a servant of Pericles. Brought to a trial where people choose whether to acquit him or not. You refuse to recognize the democracy recognized by the state. You corrupt the youth of nation. I know that I'm intelligent because I know that I know nothing. Man of ethics, you can now choose to acquit me or not. But whichever you do, I will never change my way. Even if I have to die many times. Talk daily about what makes us good and to question myself and others. It's the greatest thing men can do. For the academic life is not worth living. found guilty with about 220 over 280. Men of Athens, you have condemned me to death. Let me say that death may be a good thing. After the death of Socrates, Plato started the first university in Europe named the Academy to continue the belief of his teacher. On the other hand, Greetings videos, how are you lately? Greeting Pericles, I'm fine. How about you? I'm fine too. Let's enjoy the feast tonight. I need your help to carve a Athena sculpture to be placed in a Parthenon. Sure, just give me some time to complete my work first. I'm sure that it will be a splendid work after completion. It's my pleasure to help you with this wonderful task. Indeed, the Parthenon is some touch up. The columns are the beauty of the Parthenon. We should emphasize on it. What idea do you have? I'll show you. Three months later, the Athena sculpture was completed. However, Phidias was accused for stealing gold pieces sculpted on the Athena sculpture. You are a lawyer's for stealing gold from Athena sculpture. No, 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 no. He was sentenced to death in jail by Pericles. In 430 BC, plague 4 upon Athens, Pericles was infected and died due to the deadly disease.
Using this opportunity, Sparta again attacked Athens, which brings about the second stage of Peloponnesian War. We, Athens, hereby pray for the victory. All wall is deception. The only way to do is to stand up and fight. I shall grant you and Athens the strength to fight, to defend and to win in this battle. May the blessing be with you forever and ever until you turn. However, a brave soldier of Athens, Xenophon, united the army to defend his homeland. Unfortunately, Xenophon lost the battle. That was the fall of Athens. <laughs>